Now let's take a look at one diton, the modified end discharge decoction. This is something we use for spleen chi deficiency and dampness when there is profuse white or mild yellow belt leucorrhea. Let's take a look at the original presentation of Wan Dai Tang and then look at the modified version we'll be presenting today. The original end discharge decoction Wan Dai Tang had Renshin, Baiju, Shanyao, Kangju, Chenpi, Chechanzu, Chai Hu, Bai Xiao, Jingjie and Gan Chao, and was used for spleen chi deficiency, and the formula helped to transform dampness and stop leucorrhea. In this presentation, we are treating spleen chi deficiency and dampness again with indications of profuse or mild white belt leucorrhea, which is white or pale yellow color, no foul odor, low energy, loose stools cold limbs, pale complexion. Look for a moderate pulse. It's normal or slow. It's peaceful and unhurried. Look for the tongue to be pale with a thick white coating. And the treatment principle in this situation is to tonify spleen chi, transform dampness, and stop leucorrhea, much like the original formula. It's slightly different. So we see Ren Shen, 6 grams, Baiju, 6, Chen Pi, six, Shan Yao, nine, Kangju, six, Chechanzu, nine, Bai Xiao, twelve, Chai Hu, six, and Gan Chao, 4.5 grams. So very similar formula. And if there is kidney chi deficiency with lower back pain, we add Du Zhang, 9, and Tu Su 9. If there is damp heat, we add Bai Zhan Chao, 9 grams, Huang Bai, 6 grams, and Chun Gen Pi, 9 grams. Once again, we see with damp heat and toxins, Bai Zhan Chao and Chun Gen Pi emerging. Dosage is one bag per day, and the ratio is decocted in 3 to 1 in water. This modified formula is nearly identical to the original, but we notice that Jingjie is omitted from the base formula, and then we have our modifications for kidney chi deficiency with lower back pain and, of course, for damp heat. We use Ren Shen here to tonify the Qi and Bai Zhu both for its ability to benefit the spleen Qi but also to dry dampness. Bai Zhu also has a special function to prevent miscarriage. So that's a very important property and Bai Zhu goes to the spleen and stomach channels and is warm, sweet and bitter and used in cases of poor appetite, abdominal distension, diarrhea, edema, these types of cases as well where we have both dampness and spleen chi deficiency. Here we use Chen Pi to dry the dampness and transform the phlegm, but also to regulate the flow of stomach chi and invigorate the spleen chi. It also prevents stagnation uh, caused by other herbs, so it's a great herb in this formula. Again, we use Shanyao for its qi tonifying properties. It's also something that's commonly used in the treatment of leucorrhea. And we use Kangju here. And Kangju also has that ability to dry the dampness and invigorate the spleen. Kangju also has a special property of benefiting the vision, and that's worth noting, along with Chechanzu, which benefits the vision by clearing the eyes, but we're again using uh, Chechanza for its ability to expel lower gel dampness and heat. Bai Xiao. Now Bai Xiao or Bai Xiao Yao 
tonifies the blood. It nourishes the blood. It, it preserves the yin, calms that liver yang that's uprising. It harmonizes the yin and wei. It's also a very common herb in the gynecology department for things like irregular menstruation, abnormal uterine bleeding, vaginal yeast infections. It's also very good for lower abdominal pain and abdominal pain in general. Also, general pain and spasms. It nourishes the tendons. It's good for headaches and dizziness. So a great choice of herbs in this formula. Chai Hu. And that enters the liver and gallbladder channel. So it's a, very much a channel leading herb. It also enters the pericardium and Sanjiao, the triple burner. It smooths the liver chi and helps to raise the yang a little bit. So Chai Hu is there along with Gan Chao to harmonize our formula and benefit the chi. Gan Chao also has a heat heat and toxin clearing properties, which is important. So this formula is almost identical to the original, but very effective for spleen chi deficiency and dampness related leucorrhea. And we add the dujang and tu tzu to benefit the kidney chi. And we the clear the heat and dampness with uh, Bai Jiang Chao, Huang Bai, and Chung Pi to assist the formula. These are two main formulas in the treatment of cervical infection, cervicitis, and cervical dysplasia. Again, these are characterized by damp heat in the lower burner, excess heat and toxins, and spleen and kidney chi deficiency and dampness. So along with things like leukorrhea and bleeding, we also see completely asymptomatic cases. Let's also take a look at a topical application formula. Now these, this application is used in China, but may not meet particular state legal requirements. So careful, check your local laws and regulations on usage and permissibility for this application. But it certainly deserves mention in this lecture. So these topical powders can be used in the treatment of cervical infections, cervicitis, cervical erosion, and cervical dysplasia, but absolutely not is this appropriate for cervical cancer. And this following topical herbal formula does not cause scar tissue. Uh, procedures such as loop electrocautery excision, uh, that procedure LEAP, as it's called LEEP, and colonization do have the potential to cause scar tissue and damage to the cervix and therefore are only recommended when cervical cancer is suspect in most cases. Uh, naturally, a patient must discuss this with their gynecologist on this issue before doing those types of procedures. In Chinese medicine, we have the following topical application, which may be in lieu of these procedures, especially if cervical cancer is not suspect. The formula is Wu Bei 30 grams, and Kufan, 18 grams. We combine the herbs into a powder in a 10 to 6 ratio of Wu Bei Tzu to Ku Fan. Remember not to mix the powder with water. This causes an acidity problem with the formula and reduces the functional power of the formula. Remember that Wu Bei Tzu enters the kidney, large intestine, and lung channels. It is cold, sour, and salty. Its actions are to restrain the lungs and expel the lung heat, benefit the intestines, it preserves kidney jing, stops bleeding, and it absorbs moisture. So it is commonly used for things like chronic cough due to lung chi deficiency, uh, or even due to lung heat. It's great for digestive disturbances like diarrhea and bleeding hemorrhoids or blood in the stools, commonly used for spermaturia. It's also used for traumatic bleeding sores, swellings, and abscesses. 
looking at Kufan, Kufan is dried Mingfang. So it's dried alum. It's sour, astringent, cold, but toxic. It goes to the lung, spleen, stomach, and large intestine channels, and it eliminates phlegm and dries dampness. It eliminates toxins, kills parasites, and dries dampness and stops itching. So we use it in this formula. It's used as an external herb, but not really as an internal herb due to its toxicity. Both Kufan, which is dried and prepared Mingfan, both of these herbs stop bleeding and also clear heat and expel phlegm and clear damp heat. So it makes it a very good herb for this special topical application. The dose and application of the Wu Beitsu Kufan powder. And this is where it becomes difficult for us to use this in a TCM clinic. Combine the herbs, of course, into the powder, and then after the menstrual cycle, the powder is applied once per day for three days to the cervix. So after the menstrual cycle is complete, apply it once per day for three days to the cervix. This is repeated for a total of three menstrual cycles. Local washing is performed daily prior to the application of the topical formula. So we try to get out the old herbs and then spray on the new herbs. The application of the topical powder requires the assistance of a gynecologist and the appropriate application equipment wherein the gynecologist opens the cervix and sprays the topical formula onto and into the cervix. There are a variety of formulas that are in common use uh, where additions to this powder are made. For example, Huang Bai, Bing Pian, and Qing Dai are used. One must be very careful with Bing Pian, that can cause irritation. So, Huang Bai, Bing Pian, and Qing Dai are also used and variations of this formula. The ingredients are usually sterilized using techniques such as ultraviolet radiation. And one application technique employed in China is placing the herbs atop a wad of cotton gauze and inserting it up against the cervix and then changing the gauze every day. So that's something that is more plausible without the help of a gynecologist. So, Wu Beitsu Kufan powder sprayed onto it into the cervix at a rate of once per day for three days after the menstrual cycle has completed. And alternate herbs that go in the formula Huang Bai, Bing Pian, and Qing Dai. And that is our special look at cervical infections cervicitis and cervical dysplasia, damp heat in the lower burner, excess heat and toxins, spleen and kidney chi deficiency, and we use the formulas modified yi huan tang, modified wan dai tang, and the special topical application formula. Let's take a look at some general formulas for all forms of PID. In acute PID, we can use a modified version of Da Huang Mudan Tang, modified rhubarb and mutan decoction, uh, to treat a, a variety of types of PID. This one we'll be covering is especially effective for acute fallopian tube infections and general inflammation of fallopian tubes, salpingitis. Look for a rapid, wiry, and slippery pulse. The tongue will be red with a yellow and greasy coating. And this is for acute stage PID that is damp heat in the lower burner, chi stagnation, and blood stasis in the lower burner. Indications are lower abdominal pain that worsens upon pressure and yellow belt leukorrhea, fever, and chills. Treatment principle, clear the heat, eliminate toxins, break the blood stasis, drain the dampness, and reduce swelling. 
Da Huang, 9 grams. Mu Dan Pi, 6 grams. Dao Ren, 6 grams. Bai Zhan Chao, 9 grams. Jin Yan Hua, 9 grams. Lian Chao, 9 grams. Chi Xiao, 6 grams. Yi Yi Ren, 9. Hung Tang, 9. Shan Zhi Zhi, Zhi Zhi, 6. Yan Hu So, 6. Chuan Lian Zhi, 6. One bag per day, and it's a 3 to 1 decoction in water. Again, this formula is especially effective for acute fallopian tube infection, salpingitis. And in some cases, acute salpingitis symptoms may be mild or unrecognized, and therefore it can become chronic due to the complete lack of treatment. The acute stage tends to last two to three days, and it quickly progresses to the chronic stage. A key diagnostic indicator for this formula is if the patient has had sexual intercourse one day prior to or during her menstrual cycle, followed by abdominal pain, fever, and chills within about 72 hours. Another key indicator is if the same pattern occurs after the first sexual experience, first sexual intercourse experience, where there can be a susceptibility to PID. So the base of this formula, Da Huang Mu Dan Tang, is comprised of Da Huang Mu Dan Pi Mang Xiao, Dao Ren, Deng Gua Ren. But we don't have the Mang Xiao and the Deng Gua Ren in this formula. Bai Zhang Chao is added, however, and it's added for its ability to clear the heat, eliminate toxins, drain pus, and abscesses. So Bai Zhang Chao is an essential and vital herb to the treatment of PID. Bai Zhang Chao also eliminates blood stasis, thereby relieving pain of the lower abdomen. So clearing heat and toxins, draining puses, and abscesses and moving the blood, you can see why Bai Zhan Chao is an ideal herb. Jin Yi Huan Lian Chao are added to, for their ability to clear heat, eliminate toxins, and work with Bai Zhan Chao to treat abscesses. Chi Xiao is added for its ability to clear heat, cool the blood, and relieve blood stasis and pain. Chi Xiao is very, very special because it treats blood stasis in the uterus. Yi Ren is added for its ability to clear heat, drain dampness, and dispel pus, a very gentle herb. Hung Tang clears heat, eliminates toxins, and dispels blood stasis and relieves pain due to blood stasis. So Hung Tang, another very important herb because it clears heat and toxins, but also dispels blood stasis. And Hung Tung functions synergistically with Da Huang, Lian Chao, and Mu Dan Pi to treat abscesses and combines with Yi Yi Ren to dispel vaginal discharge. Jutsu is added to sedate fire, drain damp heat, cool the blood, and stop bleeding. And Jutsu works well with Da Huang and Lian Chao to treat high fever with irritability or delirium. Yan Hu So and Chuan Lian Zhe, alternately known as Jin Ling Zhe, Together are the formula Jin Ling Zhe San, the golden bell seed powder. And they are added together as a paired herbs to treat liver cheese stagnation and fire and liver channel pain. So Yan Hu So with Chuan Lian Zhe. Lulu Tang is sometimes added to this formula to invigorate blood and open fallopian tube blockages due to PID. So Lulu Tang, another important herb in the gynecology department. Another formula, which is available in pill form, it's a very common formula, is Huang Lian Jie Du Tang for acute PID. So it's for damp heat and lower burner with fire toxins in all three burners. So it's the classic Huang Lian, Huang Qin, Huang Bai, and Zhe Tzu. And if there's excessive vaginal or internal bleeding due to heat in the blood, or ying level heat, you use modified qi jiao di huang tang, so that's shui nu jiao, sheng di, chi xiao, mu dan pi. And we're using shui nu jiao, the uh, water buffalo horn here, not the 
rhinoceros horn, which is not only illegal, but environmentally unsound and unsustainable. Uh, and again, if we're not going to use uh, Shui Nu Jiao or any animal product in a formula, then we need to think about cooling the blood and clearing toxins with other herbs. And the dosage here is one bag per day and decocted uh, three to one cups of water. So a combination of Huang Lian Jie Du Tang with modified Xi Jiao Di Wan Tang is a great choice. Often used in cases where there is acute lower abdominal pain, red or yellow belt leukorrhea, high fever, mental restlessness, dry mouth and throat, maybe concentrated urine, uh, very thirsty, dark yellow color, perhaps of the urine, and uh, burning sensation of the urine may be present. So those are two great formulas for acute PID. Chronic PID formulas, we have a few good ones. And modified Guajir Fooling One, modified cinnamon twig and poria pill is great. It's a uh, look for a choppy pulse, a purple tongue, and the diagnosis is blood stasis in the lower burner. So lower abdominal pain or distension, irregular menstruation, menstrual blood clots, antedated dysmenorrhea, so that's pain prior to menstruation, mild and persistent uterine bleeding, lower abdominal masses with pain upon palpation are also present when we use this formula. And the treatment is to break the blood stasis. So let's look at this modification. Guajir, six. Fuling, nine grams. Mudan P, six grams. Dao Ren, six grams. Chu Xiao Yao, six grams. Huang Qi, 15 grams. Zhao Jiao Tzu, 15 grams, Xiang Fu, 9 grams, San Lang, 6, Eju, 6. So this is one bag per day and start using it following the end of the menstrual cycle and use it for five days. Then discontinue until after the next menstrual cycle and then take it for five days. So it's decocted uh, 3 to 1 in water and this is very special for treating chronic fallopian tube infections. So when chronic fallopian tube infections uh, also appear with obstructions and adhesions, we want to use this version of Guajia Fooling One, and of course, not to be used during pregnancy. Remember, we have to be careful with all the herbs we mentioned because they invigorate the blood. So the fallopian tubes may be blocked from the congealing of discharge produced in the acute stage. Uh, the ovaries all, may also have adhesions to the fallopian tubes by the same process and discharge remaining in the fallopian tubes in a more fluid-like state then move downward between the uterus and the large intestine upon sitting or standing. This displacement of discharge creates bowel movement pressure and pain associated with menstruation. Chronic fallopian tube infection key indicators also include irregular menstruation, abdominal pain, and the reduction of abdominal pain upon the release of blood clots during menstruation. Chronic fallopian tube infections are distinguished from endometriosis by the character of the pain. Endometriosis-related pain worsens with each period over time. Chronic fallopian tube infection pain lessens once the acute stage has ceased. Endometriosis-related pain worsens towards the end of the menstrual cycle and continues afterwards due to compounding blood stasis. Chronic fallopian tube infection pain starts before the menstrual flow. Both conditions may lead to infertility. So again, endometriosis worsens over time. Uh, usually the severe acute stage of PID is far worse than the sequela. The base formula of Guaisha Fooling One treats blood stasis in the womb with presentations such as uterine bleeding with clots, lower abdominal pain, dysmenorrhea, and lower abdominal masses. Here, the formula is modified to enhance its ability to treat PID and chronic salpingitis. Huang Qi is added to tonify Qi. Zhao Zhao Tzu eliminates toxicity, drains pus, activates blood circulation, reduces swelling, and is recognized as an important herb for the treatment of fallopian tube obstructions or adhesions related to PID. Bai Jun Chao is added for its ability to clear heat, eliminate toxins, 
drain the pus and abscesses, and eliminate blood stasis, thereby relieving pain in the lower abdomen. Dalren activates blood circulation and removes blood stasis. Combined with Bai Zheng Chao and Zhao Zhao Tzu, Dalren treats obstructions and adhesions in the fallopian tubes related to PID. Shang Fu is added for its ability to regulate qi, treat irregular menstruation, and relieve pain. You know, that nice warming and circulating property of Shang Fu to relieve pain. San Lang and Aizhu function to synergistically and very strongly break blood stasis and, of course, always contraindicated during pregnancy because they break blood stasis so strongly. Let's take a look at another chronic PID formula for damp heat and toxins in the lower burner. This is Gujing One, Hold the Menses Pill. And this one is available in pill and powder form. Uh, the pulse is rapid, wiry, and slippery. And for this, the tongue has a yellow coating and is red. So this is great for menorrhagia, which is abnormally heavy bleeding at menstruation. There can be continuous menstruation, abnormal uterine bleeding, vaginal spotting with a bright red flow and dark purple clots, red or yellow belt leucorrhea, lower abdominal pain, mental restlessness, the urine, concentrated yellow color, burning sensation, maybe blood in, blood in the urine. So the treatment principle, nourish the yin, clear damp heat and toxins in the lower burner, stop bleeding, and estrange leucorrhea. Herbs, huang qin, 12 grams. Huang bai, 6 grams. Chun gen pi, also known as ebai pi, 9. Bai shao, 12. Gui ban, 30. Shang fu, 6. If we're not using sea turtle, the take out the gui ban and replace with something that helps to nourish the yin. Dosage, one bag per day, and it's decocted 3 to 1 in water. So this is the traditional presentation of Gujing Wan. Gujing Wan stops menorrhagia. So it stops abnormally heavy bleeding and menstruation due to damp heat in the lower burner while at the same time it protects the yin. This formula is effective for patients with underlying yin deficiency and liver chi stagnation that causes heat, which then attacks the chung and ren. So again, you have a combination, yin deficiency and liver chi stagnation causing heat and attacks the penetrating, penetrating and conception vessels. This disturbance creates heat in the blood. That heat in the blood causes reckless movement of blood and the prolonged menses and abnormal uterine bleeding result. So Gujing one. Taking a look at another formula and a very important formula in chronic PID. Modified Jiao Ai Tang. Now this is where there is a lot of blood stasis in the lower burner, and the pulse is wiry, the tongue is purple, and we're going to use this formula when there is prolonged menstrual flow or intermittent vaginal bleeding, leucorrhea, discomfort with bowel movement, abdominal pain, abdominal tenderness, especially on palpation, abdominal distension, and possibly constipation. In some cases, there can be fever. So for modified Jiao Ai Tang, the treatment principle is to break the blood stasis to stop bleeding. Sheng Di, 12 grams. Chu Xiao, 9 grams. So we're really cooling the blood. Then warming a little with Dong Gui, 9 Chuan Sheng, 6, and Ai Yi, Chard, 3, has more of a stop bleeding function. San Qi, 9, and again, it stops, San Qi stops bleeding, but also moves the blood, so it will not cause stagnation. Pao Zhang, 12, and Shang Fu also here at 9, so together, Pao Zhang and Shang Fu are warming. Yan Hu So, 9, Bu Gong Ying, 
30. So a lot of clearing heat and toxins here. And Huang Chin 9. If bleeding continues, increase the dosage of the following herbs. Sun Qi, 15 grams. Pao Zhang, 12. Sheng Di, 18. This formula is especially useful for endometritis, inflammation of the uterine lining. In this presentation of PID, the endometrium, the inner mucous membrane of the uterus that sheds during menstruation, becomes infected and therefore bleeds. Infertility may result from endometritis. Here, modified Jiao Aitang addresses lower abdominal pain and vaginal bleeding due to cold and deficiency created by chronic illness combined with unresolved blood stasis, heat in the blood, damp heat in the lower burner, and heat and toxins. Maybe that's why I like this combination so much, because it really addresses something we might see in the clinic in a complex and mixed variety. This formula is a variation of Jiao Ai Tang, uh, which is the historical antecedent to Subu Tang. Jiao Ai Tang has the primary function to stop bleeding and treats injured and deficient Chang and Ren meridians. Jiao Ai Tang is modified to increase the invigorating blood and heat clearing properties of the formula. This changes the focus of Jiao Ai Tang from primarily treating bleeding due to deficiency and coldness in the Chang and Ren to additionally treating uh, bleeding due to blood stagnation, damp heat, and heat and toxins, also heat in the blood. It is not recommended to add additional stop bleeding category herbs to this formula as it is important to break blood stasis uh, as the primary method to stop bleeding. As a historical note, the original presentation of Zhao Aitang from the Essentials of the Golden Cabinet was E Zhao, Aie, Sheng Di, Dang Gui, Chuan Shang, Bai Xiao, Gan Chao. Here, Zhao Aitang excludes E Zhao to ensure that the bleeding is stopped by breaking blood stasis and not through stop bleeding herbs. However, this formula is not cooked with rice wine as the original uh, presentation of Zhao Ai Tang was. Chu Xiao Yao supplants Bai Xiao. So both are technically Xiao Yao. So Chu Xiao, we're cooling the blood and moving the blood and replacing Bai Xiao of a blood tonic to enhance the functions of the cooling and invigorating blood functions pao jong roasted ginger is astringent stops bleeding and is added to warm the channels to assist in breaking blood stasis in order to help fight the infection and sanchi is added for its special property to stop uterine bleeding without creating blood stagnation the charred variety of ia is used to enhance the stop bleeding function of the herb IA also helps to warm the channels and to stop gynecological related bleeding. Combined with Shang Fu, Chuan Shang, and Dang Gui, IA addresses deficiency and cold of the lower burner with abdominal coldness and or pain or regular menstruation with pain. Shang Fu and Yan Hu So address blood stagnation and dysmenorrhea, and Huang Chin is added to clear damp heat. Pu Gong Ying is added because it enters the stomach and liver channels, clears heat and eliminates toxins, and eliminates damp heat. So, and a very high dosage of Pu Gong Ying, and in many other formulas we see something like Bai Zhang Chao, and in this case we see a lot of Pu Gong Ying to clear heat and toxins. Okay. We are going to put up some notes from today's seminar and they'll be up for a while. We'll also email them to you so you'll be able to get those nicely from the end of the seminar. And we'll a quick recap of the notes. All right, and remember, of course, that you can go onto the website lcmi.com and take the quiz afterwards and get your certificate of completion immediately following this webinar. So right away at noon, it'll all be available. And let's see if we can get some notes up for you also, which would be nice. And if you want to 
want to add some questions now it's a good time there we go and this is kind of a recap of what we've been doing today the common formulas we covered long don si gan tang guizhou fuling wan also our special Servicitis, cervical infection, and dysplasia formulas, modified yitwan tong and modified wan dai tong. We covered acute and chronic PID formulas today. Also, we covered uh, some general things, and these, these things are important to note. Again, also remember acute appendicitis, uh, check for rebound pain at McBurney's point and that may indicate a medical emergency in that case. Also, very briefly, if there is constipation, uh, it's in the notes right here, use modified Tao He Chang Chi Tang in some cases. So PID with fevers uh, at night, dysuria, constipation, mania, and sharp lower abdominal pain, modified Tao He Chang Chi Tang. Also, Bai Shao with Gan Chao, Shao Gan Chao Tang. Uh, this nourishes yin and tendons and stops pain and harmonizes the liver and spleen. And this can be added into formulas for this function. Some of the main things we noted here today were that Hong Tang, Chun Gen Pi, and Bai Zheng Chao are very important herbs in the treatment of PID for their ability to clear heat and toxins, but also to invigorate the blood. So these are critical herbs in the treatment of PID. Even in the cases where there is coldness, a lot of times there is a mixed pattern of heat and we want to be careful to treat the damp heat uh, along with some of the cold stagnation in the liver channel and the dampness. So when there is pure kidney yang deficiency, yogui wan is used, but when heat is present, we can add things like hung tang, chung gen pi, and bai jung chao. Also, chi xia, remember, invigorates the blood in the uterus, and that is very, very, very important herb in the treatment of PID. Uh, other important topical notes to just quickly review is that cervical dysplasia is often asymptomatic, which is why I strongly promote pap smears once to twice a year. Definitely twice a year if leukorrhea is present. That is an indication that someone needs uh, more care and they should be looking at uh, more pap smears uh, because of the presence of leukorrhea. Cervicitis, uh, inflammation of the cervix is also caused in many cases by chronic infection or a low-grade infection, and it's often asymptomatic, unlike vaginitis, which can have a lot of itching. And cervical infections and cervicitis both involve damp heat and lower burner and spleen and kidney chi deficiency. Um, hopefully we covered a lot of ground today. Uh, I do want to mention one great combination for the treatment of damp heat PID, and it's a simple combination of Chai Hu, Huang Qin, Chi Xiao, Yi Ren, Bai Zhan Chao, Chuan Lianzi, and Chen Pi. And th these are, you know, things we've covered in the course. But when we look at those herbs, it's a great example of something that we might use in the case of damp heat PID. So I'm hoping that people can go into the clinic and make a difference. Another important thing I wanted to remind again is that some of the local acupuncture points we've recommended may not be appropriate in the case of uh, acute PID, but also chronic PID especially when there's palpable tenderness. So I'm encouraging people to think about using more of the uh, distal points. Uh, you may want to use scalp acupuncture, auricular acupuncture, and distal points uh, for these areas instead of local points because the excess stimulation may be too much for the patient. So another great combination, here's another great combination uh, for cold stagnation PID. Dangwei Bai Shao, uh, then Chi Shao. Rushang, Rugui, Shang Fu. So here you have a blood tonic formula. We've swapped out Bai Shao with Chi Shao. So Dangwei Bai Shao uh, is now Chi Shao. Uh, 
also you can split the difference really 50-50 uh, and then Rushang which invigorates the blood and Rugwe which is very warming and Shang Fu which circulates through all three burners and stops pain with the warming function another great formula but most of the formulas we covered today uh, particularly uh, modified Guizhou Fuling Wan um, Gu Jing Wan and modified Zhao Ai Tang are going to be our go-to formulas for PID. We have a little time. I'll cover another formula. Damp phlegm congestion PID. Now, uh, in the case of just straight damp phlegm congestion, we covered Kang Zhu before. And also we can use Fu Ling and Chao Dou Ko, Ban Sha, Shang Fu again, Dan Shen for invigorating the blood and Chi Xiao. And these are also great combinations for addressing a general damp phlegm congestion PID. And if there's lumps or pains in the fallopian tube region, we did uh, cover modified glacier fooling one. So another great combination that we can use is Dan Shen, invigorating the blood, Chi Xiao, Shang Fu, Kang Zhu, Pu Huang, Wu Ling Zhu. And this is, uh, again, for fallopian tube blockages, along with the modified Zhao Ai Tang, which we've covered already. So I wanted to review a few more ideas. Uh, again, when there is increased damp he, we are adding herbs like Pu Gong Ying, Bai Zheng Chao, and Hang Tang, and Chung Gen Pi are the herbs we want to be adding in. So when we see our complicated patterns, we want to be thinking about those clear heat and toxin herbs and also adding invigorate blood herbs to whatever formula we're making. Uh, when there's spleen chi deficiency, Bai Zhu, uh, for its ability to address not only chi deficiency but dampness, is a great herb. Uh, Dong Shen and Fu Ling are great herbs to tonify the qi. And in one formula we covered today, we added Huang Qi. And even strong kidney tonifying herbs like Shu Duan and Go Ji are appropriate when there is extreme kidney deficiency because patients can become incredibly depleted from this. The other important point to note is for the Wu Beitze Kufan combination, it's not always legal to use topicals in certain states so we need to check with that and this underscores the importance of working with other medical medical professionals such as gynecologists and having a complementary a truly complementary system for that is really focused on the patient's health because the addition of these types of topical powders using the instrumentation that a gynecologist has access to can make a huge difference in someone's life. So being able to reverse and calm cervical dysplasia using herbal medicine is an incredibly valuable tool and hopefully help circumvent things like cancer from developing later. We don't really treat the cancer per se with something like that as much as cervical dysplasia is what we're going after. Again, uh, there are other in, uh, formulas historically in Chinese medicine that include things like Qingdai along with Kufan and Wubetsu. Qingdai is very cooling and it's very beneficial to the skin. We see it in a lot of topicals for things like psoriasis and we see it in topicals for acne. Uh, but we also have it for something that can be sprayed around the uterus or placed up against, uh, excuse me, the cervix or placed up against the cervix. Uh, there are classical formulas that use Bing Pion, but there may be some allergic or irritating reactions to Bing Pion. It's very cleansing when used topically, but it, it does tend to create some problems in the clinic. So that may not be the best choice. However, historically, it is an herb that can be used. So that topical application is something that you want to check with your local and state laws, and in some cases, federal laws, to see if uh, we're able to use it. And I want to thank everyone for coming today. Uh, I've enjoyed sharing a lot of this information and hopefully we can all go to the clinics, uh, our clinics, and help the patients uh, 
lead happier, healthier lives and avoid uh, long-standing chronic PID. And from a personal note, one of the main things that I am trying to avoid for my patients is that they're constantly put on antibiotics to control it and constantly having multiple exploratory surgical procedures and get them out of that cycle and into a cycle where we can clear out that residual pathogen. Essentially, it can be highly appropriate to give them antibiotics initially, but there may be that residual lingering pathogenic factor that has to be cleared, and it's mixed with blood stagnation. So by moving the blood and by clearing heat and toxins, we can address that. So I'll leave these notes up for a little bit, and hopefully uh, you learned something today. Again, go to www.healthcmi.com, and you can take the quiz and then uh, download your certificate of completion. Uh, in the future, we'll have more notes available also uh, for our different seminars that will be coming up. And look for Professor Jeffrey Pong's seminar on dietetics and food and nutrition, which we're very much looking forward to. We'll be scheduling a date with that uh, very soon, and we'll be rolling out some more of those. A lot of our courses at healthcmi.com are written, and we will be doing more live courses as we have done in the past. So we're looking forward to doing so many of them. And with those, we'll also have some more downloadable content that will go along with them. So again, thank you. I want to wish you all uh, a good year and uh, a beautiful day.